When you get to your class page, this is what you will see. You'll see these three buttons here, and you'll see a list of assignments going down the page. And you'll see some recent feedback over here, uh, once you've got feedback, that is. But when you first log in, that's not what you see. Let me show you what you first log, um, see when you log in. If you ever click the Courses button up here, it will take you back to your logon page. So this is going back to the logon page. And on the logon page, you will basically see a list of um, activity. And as it gets there, so the internet's being slow for us today. Um, but OK, so that when you log in, this is what you will see. You'll see any recent activity. So if this is the first class you've taken, there won't be much here, because there's no activity. Um, but on the right, you'll see three set um, boxes, one of things to do, so that's new uh, assignments coming up soon, or uh, things to do um, this week, and then, and then coming up, which means you know shortly uh, coming up uh, assignments, and then recent feedback. And it's important to know on recent feedback, um, if there is um, a, I mean, you can click on it to see the feedback, and if you hover over it, if there was been something written, and it will tell you comments, and you can click on the co that for the comments, and if there was a video, it will show you a thumbnail of a video. So if, if a tutor has given you a thumbnail response, it will give you, uh, it will show you a thumbnail, which means if you click on it, you can then go and find the video and play it. Um, and then this, uh, any of these, it will sh if there's more, then it will show you that that, bu that link, and you can click on that, and it will expand it for you. Okay, so um, to see your actual classes, what you do is hover over courses, don't click, just hover over, and then you click on the class that you want. So in this case, I'm going to, so you, you'll, you may have two or three or just one class, but this is the way you get to the actual class. Um, you need to be on the actual class to see all of the assignments and understand their order. So I'm going to click on that class, and then I will see uh, the class page like I was at the beginning. So that's my class page. And as I scroll down, I see lots of content items. Now in this case, we notice that, number one, there's a few things I want you to notice. First of all, this email address, byuhonlinesupport at gmail.com. byuhonlinesupport at gmail.com. If you want any help, any, any problems, then email that, and as soon as we can, we will, we will give you help. Then, um, I need to let you know of a few things that will make this work. Firstly, and this is very important, um, the system works best in Mozilla Firefox, the very latest version. How do you find out your, what version you're on? You click on Help and About Mozilla Firefox, and it will tell you the version. This one says 3.6.8. If you are below this version, you know that you're on an older version, so you need to get it updated. If you're on uh, Internet Explorer, then you will see, let me bring that on, uh, Help and about Internet Explorer. And it, it works OK in Internet Explorer 8, but there have been s some problems. It normally works best in Mozilla Firefox, but if um, you don't even try using Internet Explorer 7 or before because they have lots of problems. Chrome seems to work OK, but the browser that um, the, the company who make this website, which is in structure, uh, they support Mozilla Firefox the most. The second thing, so that's the first thing, is the browser. It's very important you use the right browser, and it's most important that you use Mozilla Firefox and, a, and an updated version. Uh, we have had students who fully believe they were an updated version, and they keep and they keep telling us that they're having problems, and we need to fix it, and they're on the updated version. And then when they finally click on this and, and about, they see they see that it's not. And and actually, we can see um, we have a, a report where we can see which browsers you've been using. So we can see whether you know which which one it is if you're really having problems and you can't find out. But that's the way to find out. The second issue is Flash, Adobe Flash. Adobe Flash needs to be up to up to date on your computer to make this system work properly. And um, so you need to make sure you um, do that. So you can just do a, do Google. So if I do a file and new tab, and I do Adobe Adobe Flash. Just click on the, the Adobe Flash link and follow the instructions to install it. Uh, actually, I think this one, the one that says get Adobe from Flash Player. Okay, so and it will give you instructions about how to download it. So that's Flash. Anyway, back to the class. Um, most of the time, you can just um, click 
on things so the actual assignments are behind these links so if you click on this link you'll go to the assignment and this is this is how it used to be you won't see it exactly like this because I'm changing it right now to these new videos but so there were these videos like this and the assignment is to watch the videos and at the bottom there's a button for taking a quiz so just whatever page you're on follow instructions and uh, and then do whatever it says you need to do click on home to get back to the page with all the assignments on okay so that's basically using your your page now here's something to notice I can't click on this assignment right here and that's because sometimes we fix it so that you can only you have to move in order so if you want to get to that assignment you first have to complete this assignment so if I complete this assignment I'm going to show you this so I'm going to take this test so once I've taken this quiz it's going to unlock the second assignment so here we go let's take the quiz so you can see what quizzes looks like very simple once you've clicked on the quiz the internet is playing. <laughs> you can uh, you get these questions with multiple choice answers, and I'm just going to go like this. And I'm not I'm not uh, clicking the right answers. I'm just clicking any answer. And I submit my answers at the bottom. Now some um, tests are timed, so beware of that. In some classes, some tests are timed. Anyway, so I only got three out of ten. And but but now when I click to the home page, now what you will see is the second assignment is now available. In fact, there's a check mark, a green check mark that says I submitted the assignment. But this one says must submit the assignment. So now I need to do this one before I do this one. Now I'm going to show you how to do um, th this kind of assignment. So you've shown how to do a quiz. Now I'm going to show you how to do an assignment. So you click on it as before and you'll go into a page with instructions and in this case it's just text instructions nothing complicated and uh, all the classes have outcomes written in some format or another so I'm telling students to read through this look at the class themes look at the student learning outcomes and then at the bottom it tells the assignment which is to submit a video and then by the way a lot of assignments or hopefully all of our assignments have clear rubrics so the rubric at the bottom of an assignment you will show you exactly how you are going to be rated and whether you you know whether you get the points. So that's very helpful to know what it is you've got to do. But anyway, well, I'm telling you the instructions right um, right here. And to, but to and a lot of our um, assignments have uh, you do a video. So what you do is first you record your video with something else. You record it with Movie Maker, and we have videos sh showing you how to do Movie Maker that are, that are in this this assignment. And or on a, uh, that's on a PC. On a Mac, you use Photo Booth. So Photo Booth on a Mac, Movie Maker on a PC, and then when you have a f your f your video recorded and you're ready to upload it, you click on Submit Assignment. Then you click on Record Media. Comment. It brings up this Flash widget. Um, now it is possible to record directly through the webcam, but we 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 recommend never to do that because it's too easy for for a blip to happen and you lose your recording and it's very frustrating so make sure you've recorded it first like I said Mac photo booth PC movie maker and you're gonna browse for your your video and I'm gonna just select this one I don't know if you see that so I selected this one click open and it, and it um, shows it there watch out for the size this one is 1.4 meg for uh, 1400 point zero kilobytes that's um, 1.4 meg so that's pretty small anything up to 30 40 50 meg will upload okay but if you start to go above that it starts to get difficult so we also show you how, you, how to use a program called WinFF to make files smaller okay but my files okay it's 1.4 meg that's no problem so I click on upload and then you'll see it going through this upload thing and if it's a small file it's very fast if it's a big file it may take a long time and then it might even break so make sure your files are small click next it's put the title this title is, is not very relevant um, so you just click next <coughs> and you click OK but there is a final step you haven't submitted your assignment until you click on submit assignment so if you were to leave this page right now 
it would lose it and your video would not be uh, submitted. So you, if you need to click any, put any comments, then you can, but then you click on Submit Assignment. All right, so that's how you submit an assignment. And the last thing I'm going to show you, uh, and <laughs> I'm talking just to, to make sure it uh, goes quicker. Okay, so I've it's told me I've, I've submitted it. And I'm going to click on Home to go back. And then, so now you see, I can, I can do this assignment. I'm going to pause right now and do the next two assignments. Okay, so I just went and did these two assignments, so you can see that that's got the green um, check mark, that's got the green check mark, and now I can do this one. So this is the introdu um, student introductions. This is how you do any kind of discussion. We showed you a quiz, we showed you an assignment, and this is any kind of uh, discussion. On a discussion page, there's two places to click it. You've got an add new entry, and you've got an add new entry. Um, there should be a video to watch here. We ha haven't done it yet for this class. But once there is a video, watch the teacher or tutor videos. Then after that, um, read the instructions and then add a new entry. And here's the thing to watch out for. Again, once again, make sure you record your video with something else first. And then when you've got the file ready, you click on this button. This is the kind of film strip icon. The film strip icon means video. Okay, so once again, we're going to upload. I'm going to upload the same thing. Okay, so it's put my video here, make sure you see all th this, and then once you see that, you can click on post entry. And there it is, and um, it's black now, but if I refresh it later, it will show a thumbnail. That's how you do that. If, you, if you're going to reply to somebody else's entry, then you click on the green, the green uh, reply button. And again, you click on the same video icon. We will go through the same thing again. Browse, select it, upload. Good job, it's a small file. Next, next, OK. There it is, post it. And because it's a reply, what you'll notice is it's to the right-hand side below. If I do a new entry, it will be a whole new uh, entry here on the left. Anyway, that's a quick introduction to using your um, online class.